We good to go? All right. Good morning, Southwest Florida. You're listening to Saving the Investor Radio Show. I am Alfie Townsend, Southwest Florida Certified Financial Planner Professional. I'm here with Pastor John Antonucci, and we are here to really talk about the market and talk about retirement, and we're going to talk a little bit about our great country. So stay tuned, and welcome to the show. Yeah, great to be here. Great to be in studio with you, Alfie, and uh, good morning, Southwest Florida. You know, Alfie and his team are dedicated to helping investors just like you navigate the complexities of the ever-evolving investment landscape. Today is no exception. As our population ages, there's a significant strain on those nearing retirement or soon to be retired. On today's show, we're going to be discussing the short and long-term election impact, the two systems of taxation, which is always important uh, because there is a ticking time bomb looming out there, and that is taxes could be going up very, very soon uh, within the next year. And you really need to a plan, a plan that addresses uncertainties and instills confidence in your future. You know, as a certified financial planner professional with over 40 years experience, Alfie has put together a tax map that strives to help you achieve three very key goals. Number one, lower your tax bracket in retirement. Two, protect your money when taxes rise. And three, create a tax-free income. You want to be one of the first callers right now. Don't wait. Pick up the phone, call the operator, and ask for the tax map. Uh, you also can text the word TAX, T-A-X, to 239-747-1077. That's 239-747-1077. Get a hold of Alfie's free tax map today and, and generate a tax-free income right now. 239 747 1077. And as always, we begin with the market update. The markets were very volatile this week, Alfie. And uh, uh, I know Boeing has, uh, you know, got their spaceship off the ground there. A lot of things happening that uh, are rocking the market, changing the market. But what do you see taking place that really brought a lot of volatility this week? Well, I have confidence in Boeing. I flew on them four times this past week. You know, I had two, two legs going to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I felt very comfortable in it. So, you know, it's a shame they have such a, a a bad rap right now. Yeah, they've been safe for so many years. <clears throat> yeah, they've couple, been safe. They're going to have issues, right? You're, oh, you know, there's so many Boeing planes out there. Right. I mean, they dominate the market. It it really is. I mean, the Airbus is their competition, but I think I think Boeing is it is a de- definitely. And I sat I sat on a um, on the Max Max. Um, uh, what is Max it? 800. 800. Yeah. And I was I was on the wing right at the door, exit door. There you go. <laughs> so that's how much I have confidence in that. So we have Boeing in portfolio. So I I like Boeing. But let's talk a little bit about the market that I'm talking about a little bit. Why I was on that plane uh, heading to Tulsa, Oklahoma. But we job numbers uh, did come out. Uh, and this from ADP said uh, it was – Slowing up in May of 152,000 uh, non, uh, uh, really non-farm payroll jobs. So 200, um, 152,000 in May. They thought it was going to be higher. So it is definitely slowing. So the private sector added fewer jobs in in the, really in the past four months. So this is a signal that is the market slowing down. Is the labor market slowing down? Now, what uh, new jobs were created in healthcare, education, and shipping? So that's good news there. But overall, uh, you have to start thinking: is is the Federal Reserve going to lower interest rates? And that's a question that's been, you know, a buzz all year. It started; there were supposed to be six rate de- you know cuts this year, and now we're in six months in. And six nothing. months in, there hasn't been anything. But you start to see, you know, you're starting to see it slowing down a little bit. And that's going to have a big effect on on Biden and this election, because if there's no rate cuts and the economy starts to slow down that and people are losing jobs, then that and then inflation is still high. That's a, that's a ticket. That's why the, the feds are looking at this. If we lower lower interest rates, then what that means is yeah the market will do better but people will start spending are they going to start spending too much and drive up inflation so inflation is really the the ticker on this and and there's a, a strategist um, 
and his name is Steve uh, Engelden, uh, Englander, I should say, and he's head of the North American Macro Strategy of uh, Standard Chartered Bank, and he said a lot of these jobs that were created this year at the beginning of the first quarter were undocumented immigrants that were applying for visas. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, and, and now he just closed the border. I guess he got <coughs> enough people in that he wanted uh, to get into the country. Now the border. But he closed up. it, but for the first 2,500, right? Yeah. And then they closed after 2,500. Crazy. And they said they're going to be flying them in now to hit that, that target. So this is not, this is just politics, unfortunately. This is not what needs to be done. Obviously, the the border is a big issue in this election. You got you got the border, you got inflation, you got people are are comp- and energy. I mean, look at the energy prices and and you know, people are are hurting. Yeah. And the elites not seeing it, but middle America is definitely seeing it. Yeah, it's very important. Uh, you know, Alfie has come out with a podcast that you can really watch uh, right on your smart device. It's topical segments on there. There's TV show highlights, team member insights. Uh, it's the Advantage Retirement Group YouTube channel. If you want to look at some of those things and go into a deeper dive into some of the topics that we talk about here on the show, uh, you can catch up anytime by watching his podcast. All you have to do is text the word WATCH, W-A-T-C-H, to 239-747-1077, and Alfie will send you a link directly that you can click on, and you could stay informed and stay ahead with Saving the Investor because you don't want to miss out on the expert advice and market updates that can help secure your financial future. Simply text the word WATCH. Watch W-A-T-C-H to 239-747-1077, and you could take advantage of all that great information. You know, information really is king, and it's really going to give you a strategy to help get you to and through retirement. And, Alfie, as you deal with all the complexities of what's taking place, inflation, we're still in a high interest rate environment. Yeah. Housing prices in southwest Florida are still going up, uh, even in the midst of a slowdown. Uh, jobs, uh, even though the market, is, you know, you're showing jobs being hired, there's still tough jobs out there uh, in our sector. What would you say to the people in southwest Florida that would really be a hedge for them? You know, I would think that they would have to really, with this next six months, come in for a review to really hedge what's going on in their portfolio because we don't know what's going to happen in the election, do we? No, we don't, and and we have. We're going to talk about that in the next segment. Is during this election year, we have this uncertainty: who's going to win? I know who most of our listeners want to win, and if if we have the same, we keep doing the same thing over and over. And if Biden wins, we're going to have we're going to have some issues with deficit. We're going to have issues with. Um, the market, I think. And even that's uncertain. They may pull him out at the convention and put somebody like Newsom. Yeah, I just, you know? I really don't, I, I really do not see him lasting, you know, until November. Years, no way, yeah. Or to yeah. November. I mean, I mean, as a, as a leader, because he is just awful right now. Yeah. And I was, I was thinking, how can you lead, how can you lead with all the complexity there is to be a leader, a president of the United States, and and you can't really lead yourself off the stage. Yeah. If you think about it, if you think of it, anything like it, it if you just like think it. about that, he doesn't know how to get off a stage. Right. And can't complete sentences. And the teleprompter's right there, and we're asking him to lead our great country and make decisions, and he doesn't know to go left or right off the stage, and he is asked to make decisions to protect us i scary. i just it's scary it's very scary and we need change and i think the democrats are going to change biden so i don't think it's going to be biden running against trump this year probably not that's that's my prediction but it, he's just getting worse and worse but we are going to talk about this election or what you should be doing because there's a lot of strategies that that's out there and if you're not preparing for one president to another you there's things that you should be looking at because we know taxes are going to be going up we know that there's going to be some change but we don't know which way to go so you have to really put a defense on that on your portfolio because portfolios go up and down but they're 
uncertainty is really going to make uh, some some changes. So you need to plan for change and uh, protect your portfolio. We're going to be right back and talk about some of these strategies. Welcome back to Saving the Investor with Certified Financial Planner Professional Alfie Townsend. Alfie has over 40 years experience as a CFP. And uh, if economic uncertainties have been putting your financial decisions on hold, you really need to grab a hold of Alfie's free toolkit that will help transform your worries of retirement into confidence. Alfie's toolkit will give you a wide range of materials, such as will your money last as long as you do? Are you paying too much in taxes in retirement and how to reduce that tax liability? The Social Security Decisions Guide. And will a recession rob your retirement? To get all of this wealth of information absolutely free, all you have to do is call the operator and ask for Alfie's toolkit or text the word KIT, K-I-T, to 239 747-1077. Text the word KIT. That's K-I-T to 239-747-1077. It's time for a worry-free retirement. Get Alfie's toolkit today. It's going to add value to your life, insight, information that will help guide you through the retirement years. Text the word KIT, K-I-T to 239-747-1077. If you don't text, you can call the operator and ask for that kit, and we'll get it to you as soon as possible. You know, Alfie, let's talk about the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, uh, three uh, incredible sectors uh, over last year and even into this year. Uh, you know, we've got some market highs and a lot of things that can encourage us, even in the midst of a presidential election that is uncertain. Yeah, you know, the Dow hit 40,000. Uh, you know, this is an amazing number. Who would think that it's, you know, it's not there now, but who would think it would hit 40,000? And it's up about 3% for the year. The S&P is up a little over 12% for the year. NASDAQ and the S&P has hit, this is their 13th record close for just 2024. Amazing. So we've had 24, or thir- in 2024, we've had 13 records of the S&P 500. And the NASDAQ is at about 14% over the year. The last year has been 31%. So it's been on a tear. And that's what we talk about. If you think about why you do not want to lock your money up in, in, in these CDs and things like that, because CDs, the rates that you're getting, the better rates are short-term CDs because, as you talk about the inverted curve, we talked about the inverted y- yield curve, is that you're getting higher interest. I talked about this on Drew's show Monday. You're getting, you're getting higher interest rates on shorter term And it's usually you get better interest rates on long term. So it's called an inverted yield curve. And it's been like that for 19 months now, which is a great indicator that we will be in a recession. Hmm. So it's getting more and more uh, closer to are we going to be in a recession or not? We might be in one. It looks like it. Uh, If you know the it looks like the numbers are leaning that way. And so that's why the rates most likely will have to have one rate cut at least this year you know again they were looking for six Um, if we get one I think we're we're going to be lucky two would be exceptionally lucky but again if we are in a recession it does slow things down it keeps people from you know they're going to not be buying as much and that's what the feds really would love people not buying so much to get the inflation numbers down so that will recession will lower the inflation rate drastically because you're not spending money pumping money into the economy but again the market's at a very all-time high in a lot of instances and it's people say is it too high to invest that's the question i hear is it too high to invest so you know you we could do dollar cost averaging in there our managers are saying there's more there's more room to run you have Nvidia. It's going to be splitting ten. You know, um, they're going to give you ten shares for every one. Wow! So that's going to lower the lower the value of that each stock, obviously. But you're going to have more shares, right. and then that's what's nice. That's where you create wealth. Is when they start doing splits. Uh, let's say you have a hundred shares. Now you're going to have a thousand shares. You know, but it bumps back up to that it bumps that back amount. up to that amount. You're going. It's going to take years to do that, but that's how. That's how people create wealth. I've seen people come in um, that I remember one in particular. He he put in um, money in 
in MasterCard, and he put in like forty thousand dollars. It's worth one point five million. Wow! From and that was that was a few years ago. It's probably worth you know two million now. But that was a forty three thousand uh, dollar investment, and then he put twenty five thousand in in McDonald's years ago, and that was worth over five hundred thousand. So these splits help create that wealth. Again, you, what you don't want is a reverse dollar co- cost uh, split. We did that with, they did that with Citigroup once, and it, it was devastating because they wanted the value was so low, they did a reverse split, so you got less shares, but the value of the stock went up, you know, <laughs> per share, and it right. was like, you don't want that. Yeah. You don't want that. But I was able this, this week, I went to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, to the Folds of Honor. I don't know if you know about this organization. I did want to uh, really talk about it. We D Day this week, um, but Folds of Honor is is a great organization. Dan Rooney, a uh, um, F sixteen fighter pilot and a professional golfer too, PGA golfer. So you have um, it's the only only person that has that that title, and he saw something on a flight once that that had a casket of a fallen soldier and the he saw the family at the airport um, just you know with their hands on the casket and and he he thought at that time something needs to be done because he has these children and are they going to be able to get education so he formed folds of honor and folds of honor has given um, for fallen soldiers, fallen um, heroes, their their spouses and their children who uh, want to go to college, they've given two hundred and fifty million dollars so far of scholarships. Amazing. So this is an organization that we donate to um, our our uh, managers that we use. Um, they are big contributors to you know to their organization. So we we flew out to Tulsa to see their home office and play golf and at their course and that's where they really talk about what they do and 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 you know how they raise money and it's just a great organization john i don't know if you know too much about it but if you you know think about what the soldiers we we were listening to two navy seals that we were listening to their stories and it's amazing what they go through to keep us safe. Yeah. I mean, I, I could not imagine what, what they have had, had to endure during their, their time to keep our country safe. And that's what everybody, my prayers at night is to, is to, uh, you know, protect our men and women who are protecting us for our freedom. And, and I think people take that for granted. Yeah, you were telling me that one gentleman you were speaking to was on 400 missions as a SEAL. I mean, they're in harm's way a lot of times. And, uh, you know, like you said, protecting us and what they go through in order to do that. You know, we don't hear the stories because it's yeah. not really broadcast, but you got some inside information on some yeah. great things that they do to, to help our country. Yeah, and, and and what they do is obviously is things that we would have no idea and couldn't even imagine but it's to keep our country safe and so if you've never heard of folds of honor you know go to uh, go to that website and just check it out it's a great organization Um, again it's for military who really their you know fallen soldier lost uh, their his life or her life and and but they are able to, to really give give back uh, we're able to give back to uh, give them an education through scholarships so it's a great great um thing to go check it out and see you know for yourself how how good it is but tulsa oklahoma was um a, you know of course uh, there's a lot of tornadoes oh, yeah. <laughs> in oklahoma so but we didn't have any tornadoes we did have some rain but it's uh, a great place so i want to talk a little bit about again we have election year are you doing any planning for taxes? Because taxes uh, most likely are going to go up. You know, we have a deficit of uh, thirty-five trillion dollars. So if you think of thirty-five trillion dollars, you're looking at at most most politicians are going to want to raise taxes to pay for that 
deficit right there. And it's going to take much more than taxes. It's going to take taxes. It's going to take um, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, cuts. It needs to have a lot of cuts. So so these are things that you want some tax free money. So if you haven't really done any type of investing where you can get tax free, these are some strategies that we're using here at the Advanced Retirement Group. If you want to know about uh, some of the strategies, give us a call. John will give you our number, and, and we'll run your portfolio through a stress test. Yeah, Alfie has put together a tax map that you can get a hold of. You know, we're going to be talking about taxes in the rest of this broadcast today. And really, you need a plan. If you don't have a plan that addresses the uncertainty and instills confidence in your future, uh, you really need to get a hold of Alfie's tax map. He has put together a comprehensive plan that will help you achieve three goals. Number one, lower your tax bracket, which is going to put more money in your pocket. Protect your money when taxes do rise, because it is going to rise, and create a tax-free income. Pick up the phone, call the operator, ask for his free tax map, or text the word TAX to 239-747-1077. That's TAX, T-A-X, to 239-747-1077. Get it today. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back right after this break, so don't go away. Welcome back to Saving the Investor. You're listening to Alfie Townsend, Southwest Florida Certified Financial Planner Professional here with Pastor John Antonucci, and we are here to really talk about this market. We've had a lot of things, and we're talking about also with this presidential election in November, there's a lot at stake, and we're going to talk about some of the things that most likely is going to change. And again, with the deficit that we have, we have a lot to really be concerned with because if you're not planning for higher taxes this is something that we are planning for here at the advanced retirement group and and you need to start looking into that yeah you need to get some information and now alfie addresses a lot of this in his brand new book uh, which is always in high demand and he just got a new shipment of that which you can get a hold of today a complimentary copy of his book making waves in retirement is available for you to claim your free book all you have to do is call the operator or text the word book, B-O-O-K, to 239-747-1077. You know, Alfie's book is your guide to a fulfilling retirement. You don't want to miss out on the valuable insights, including many, many stories about investors that he has helped save over the years, over his 40-year career. He's helped save many investors from the pitfalls, the schemes, the traps of Wall Street, and he wants to help save you from that as well. Simply pick up the phone and ask the operator for his free book, or text the word book right now to 239-747-1077. Just text the word book to 239-747-1077. And Alfie, when we talk about $35 trillion in debt, which is going up uh, as we're speaking here by the minute, uh, you know, you know, millions of dollars uh, you know, every single hour, probably more than that, uh, there are impacts for investors, especially when they're taking money out of retirement. And uh, we know the Trump tax cuts, the, the, the plan that he put in effect is going to go through 2025. But after that, it's anybody's guess. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are depending on that for the next 20, 30 years of their life. And they are assuming that, you know, they have a nest egg there. But really, as they begin to pull that money out, there are some real concerns because if that tax base changes, they're going to pay a lot more when they pull 10000 out or 20000 aren't they? Well, you hear Biden talk about, oh, if you make over 400, nothing's going to change. You know, under 400, nothing's going to change. But that's not true. There's a lot that's going to change because they take a lot of deductions away. Uh, Short term impacts are really going to be the new laws and regulations and, um, you know, what policies will be, you know, given to administrations pursue. And then the laws that the new laws that uh, Congress will pass. But that's the short term. But the long term is is really based on the future effect of the laws and regulations passed. So things that are passed now, how it's going to affect our long term today. And there's a a lot of a lot of things will be passed. And you're looking at, you know, will taxes be higher in the future to offset some of today's spending? If you think about the spending right now, it is more, and, and then you, you got to look at migration, immigration coming in, all these people coming in. We're paying for that. We're That's paying that. for that. I mean, that is not cheap. That is real money. And that's what's so aggravating. You have this, these people that are coming a, across the border, but they're coming across the border with their hands out, John. They're coming across the border, um, and they're young guys. 
they're not they yeah. th- these military are age. the yeah. military age then you have the chinese that are coming across the border you know what are they here for that's yeah. and China, so that's you know when i was when i was in tulsa last week i asked that that question to one of the navy seals and he 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 goes why do you think huh. He goes, why do you think that, uh, these Im- um, immigrations like this, th- these yeah. are coming over? And I, I told him what I thought. He goes, well, I'll tell you what it is. They all have passport, or they all, first of all, they all get the Obama phone. That's what he said. They all get the Obama phone. They all going to know where to where to protest because they have the Obama phone. Where to protest closer to the election? So this is a Navy SEAL talking, yeah. and then they're going to know, you know, that be able to cast a vote on that phone and you know i was listening to this this is from someone that knows much more than (laughs) i do and i i i was listening to that and that's scary yeah so they all come with a phone they all come with a phone that's getting texts on how to act and where to go and and it's just you know it just this is not america we got to we got to have immigration under control that's that's the thing so the more that they come over, the more taxes are our tax dollars is going to pay that. And then you have these states like New York, sanctuary states like New York and, and California that are running a deficit. And and when you're running a deficit, you're gonna ask the federal government for money. Sure. So there's broke. more money. So we're all paying for it. Yeah. Don't yeah. think that they're not coming to Florida and we're not going to pay for it. We are all paying for it. So what, what you have to do is plan on the worst and hope for the best. And planning on the worst is, you know, taxes shoot up and hard-earned money that you're making that, you're, that you save for is going to be taxed at a bigger rate. So you need to... Start looking at at some Roth conversions. Start looking at some some different strategies that you do not have to pay taxes when you take that money out. We're in a still very low tax bracket. If you haven't really had a the retirement simulator that looks at everything, that looks and then we put an income plan together for you and show you is it viable to pay a little taxes now and then have some tax free money later. And remember, if taxes start to go go through the roof, then the more tax free money you have, then the better it is because, you you know, the more money you're making, you don't have to make a 15 percent return to have good tax free money. You know, if you're able to take it out tax free, that's a whole different ball game. So we have to look at all these things to, to give you some strategies to offset that and you know, with market volatility, you're going to have market volatility. So you have to have some buffers in there. You know, we have we have some of our uh, buffer ETFs that protects the first 20 percent down. Then and then, you know, when it goes up, it you get a lot of the gain, the first 15 percent up to 19 percent of the gain on the up. So if the market, you know, is this a good time to put some money in there? Uh, we always have volatility about, you know, September, October, always have volatility. So if you had some money in, in a, a buffer ETF that protects the first 20% down, why not think about something like that? So there's a lot of tools and strategies that we use, and we have some, some things that have no correlation of the market. So if you're looking to have protection of my nest egg while this election is is and it might not be over in November, John. This could be one of those elections that last longer. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, I don't put anything by them right now. It, I, I just, you know, my friend in, in um, Alabama, we say, I smell a rat. Yeah. <laughs> and I smell, it's not a mouse, it's a rat. Yeah. I smell a rat and, and um, things are going to be shaky in November, come November. Yeah, it's important that uh, you take a look at your portfolio right now and say, uh, I've got to look out 10, 15, 20 years, and if taxes go up, it's going to be something that's going to be a big hit. It's going to be a time bomb that's going to come on you without you knowing. That's why you want to sit down with Alfie Townsend. You know, Alfie has put together a proprietary program called a retirement simulator process, 
and then we'll take a deep dive into your current portfolio to see what's really going on. Matter of fact, he's going to take your portfolio back five years and show you what his would have done in the five previous years, and then this way you can make a decision moving forward. But it's going to show you how you're allocated, if you're diversified correctly, what type of risk that you're taking for the amount of return that you're getting. Uh, he's going to make sure and expose all the hidden fees inside your current portfolio because that can eat up your returns each and every year. If he can reduce your fees, that's going to put more money in your pocket, and he's going to give you a plethora of opportunities to be able to move some of the money that you have into some tax-based shelters that can shelter your money well into your retirement years so you don't have to worry about this ticking time bomb. You owe it to yourself to meet with him in Fort Myers or Naples. Pick up the phone and either call the operator and tell them I want to meet with Alfie in Fort Myers or Naples or text the word VISIT, V-I-S-I-T, to 239-747-1077. You owe it to yourself to get a second pair of eyes on your portfolio, but not just any pair of eyes. We're talking about a man that is a certified financial planner professional with 40 years of experience as a fiduciary, which means his responsibility is to you, not the products or services that he represents. And listen, if you're on the right path, Alfie's going to tell you, stay the course, you're doing great. But if not, he's going to make recommendations that are going to be beneficial to you well into your retirement years. If you're soon to be retired or currently retired, pick up the phone right now, call the operator, tell them I want to visit with Alfie in Fort Myers or Naples, or simply text the word VISIT, V-I-S-I-T, to 239 747 1077. Alfie, it's critical. Uh, a lot of people have not had a review or you have do-it-yourselfers out there, and really they haven't looked at what they have and where they're going, and they really need a plan and a strategy because there's so many uh, obstacles that you have to sort of like jump through in order to get them through retirement, which is your goal. What I always tell new people that come in, if we can't give you something to add value, then it's not worth hiring us. Right. Some Makes of the sense. Some of the things that we're doing, you don't have access to. That's number one. So some of the portfolios, the the managers, you don't have access to, but using us, you would. So our goal is to make that extra uh, return for you to give you value and to give you premium. That's over and above returns that you're currently getting. And that's, that's our goal. And we show you how we try to do that with the managers that we use, with the you know, again, if you're not if if your account went down five percent when the market goes down and your current account would have went down 10, now you have to make a whole lot more to just make up your money. So it's not about how much you're making. It's about how much you're not losing. Also, I'm going to say that again. A lot of times people look how much how much do I make? How much do I make? How much you're, are you not losing? And then how much are you making? That's the difference. So. There's some things that we can do here and show you some different strategies. We're going to talk about some of the different strategies that we're going to be that we use with our clients that you are most likely not taking advantage of right now. So when we get back, we're going to talk about that. Stay tuned. You're listening to Saving the Investor. Welcome back to Saving the Investor with certified financial planner professional Alfie Townsend. You know, Alfie has a brand new YouTube channel called Saving the Investor. It's full of versions of his radio broadcast and his TV show. Uh, the other channel is the Advantage Retirement Group. You have topical segments. You have TV show highlights and team member insights. Really going to help you with planning, investing, and wealth management. You can catch up anytime by watching this podcast. All you have to do is text the word WATCH, W-A-T-C-H, to 239-747-1077, and Alfie will send you a link that you can click on that will take you to all that information. You know, information really is king because it really – brings you uh, into a place of understanding so that you can make the best decisions in your retirement uh, venture. Text the word WATCH, W-A-T-C-H, or call the operator, 239-747-1077. And Alfie, we're talking about taxes. We're talking about implications that can really derail people's retirement. Uh, you know, you have about a year left before the tax cuts expire, if they do, and it would be great to have Trump in there and uh, extend them permanently. That would be a great thing. But uh, we don't know what's going to happen, and uncertainty really is something that uh, is good for the markets, isn't it? They don't like to know what's going on. They like uncertainty. Uncertainty is where the returns come from. If you knew what you were making, right, if you knew that you were making 5%, that's all you're going to make, 5%, you might be okay with that. But not to know what you're making, but you have calculated risks to know how, with 95% confident, how low it can go, how high it can go, 
that's where returns come from. If you're just making four or five percent on your money right now, you're not making, you're not keeping up with inflation. You got to remember, inflation is some is a is a hidden tax. You, if you think about how much food costs right now, you do to go to the grocery store, uh, anything and everything, the shrink inflation, you know, shrink rate uh, inflation is happening right now. Your packages are getting smaller and smaller. And they're raising rates on it. So they're shrinking the package and they're raising the rates on that. So yeah. they're double whammy. You know, that's a big, big, uh, there's some things that are 18, 20% more. You know, we're in the process of building a home right now. And you're talking about inflation on that. Uh, at least wood prices have come down, but things are expensive everywhere, everywhere. And, and the average person right now is feeling it. And that's what I hope goes out and votes. Yeah. That's what I hope they goes out. They vote their pocketbook, don't they? They usually do. I know there's going to be abortion out there that's going to be on the table. There's going to be, uh, which is a very, I think uh, Trump explains it very well. It's, it's with the state, not with the federal right. government. And one thing he doesn't say, I heard him talking when he was explaining that. He explained it very eloquently, but... What one thing that he didn't say is Ginsburg said it should have never been to the Supreme Court. It should have always been a state issue, not a federal issue. Right. That's Ginsburg, the most liberal justice that was there. Yeah, and that's what where I would be throwing her name up all the time because that's how she wanted it. She wanted it to go to the state. So you have that going on. You have um, just you have to get your affairs in order. Again, if we can't give you added value here at the Advantage Retirement Group, it's not worth to hire us. And the managers that we use, the 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 really the planning tools that we use is something that you want to take advantage of for lowering your taxes. If you want to um, have less volatility, there's there's funds out there that can protect your downside risk, and that's. Um, for income, we're using our structured notes that are paying right around 8%. So if, if what that means is if you're looking for income, we have a lot of clients on, on this right now where they're getting close to 8% on their, on their money, and that money is coming in each and every month into their account, and it's uh, protected up to 30%. As long as the S&P or NASDAQ doesn't fall below 30%, you have no issue. You're going to get your interest payment. So people are excited about different things that we're showing them here. So if you're not taking advantage of it, if you should do a Roth conversion, if you should do um, some alternative investments where it has nothing to do with the stock market, if you're not if you're not really doing any type of planning for taxes, give us a call and let us review what you have because this is the time to do it. We're in election year. And this is the time to do some serious planning because it is going to be a little vol volatile. It has to be. It, we have look what's happening. Look, I mean, look at look around the world right now, and and you can't help but know that we're in some type of um, quandary that we need to fix. Yeah, yeah, it's important. I mean, we're five months to an election, and we're six months to the end of the year. Uh, this year is absolutely flying by, and uh, information is really what you need. If you're feeling overwhelmed and anxious by the effect inflation is having on your spending, you're, you're not alone. You know, according to a recent study, 73% of Americans rank their finances as their number one stress life. And if economic uncertainties have put your financial decisions on hold, you really need to grab a hold of Alfie's free toolkit that will help transform your worries of retirement into confidence. Inside his free toolkit, you're going to find a wide range of materials such as will your money last as long as you do? Are you paying too much in taxes in retirement? That's what we've been talking about during this broadcast today, how we can reduce your tax liability, putting more money in your pocket each and every year. The Social Security Decisions Guide and Will a Recession Rob Your Retirement? To get Alfie's toolkit, simply call the operator and ask for it or text the word KIT, K-I-T, to 239 747 1077 when you text that word kit it'll take you to a landing page and you can check out and get all that information absolutely free just pick up the phone text the word kit to 239-747-1077 it's time 
for a worry-free retirement. Get Alfie's toolkit today because it's going to be add value to you. And Alfie, you know, Judge uh, Learned Hand said this, there are two systems of taxation in this country, one for the informed and one for the uninformed. Uh, the uninformed are going to uh, wake up to a ticking time bomb, but you're yeah. trying to inform people yeah. how to get ahead of the curve now why they still have a year. And it takes about a year to make all these adjustments, so they really need to come in and see you now, don't they? They really do because, like he said, if you're informed, at least you're making a decision based on knowledge, based on what, what we can show you and based on what our managers are saying. So this is this is the time. If you haven't made any tweaks in your portfolio or you've been doing it yourself, this is the time to make things happen. So I hope you take advantage of coming in to the Advanced Retirement Group, meeting our and, – and speaking of our group, man, we are adding on. We have two new advisors that are just phenomenal. And what's cool about it, John, is that they're your, like your son's age – David yeah. just turned 30. Really These two here. are 28. Um, they're licensed, and they, the, the young people that we have here, you hear the reputation of young people. I'm going to defend them, you know, that, that they're lazy, that they want to come in. when they. These guys are here early in the morning and the last ones to leave. First ones to get here, last ones to leave. So um, I – Yeah, great I, team, yeah. Great team. Yeah. And they care about what we do, and they love what, what they do. So, um, and I love our new studio here, John. Yeah, well, if they go to the podcast, they could see it. See That's it right. right here. And how do they get to the podcast? All you have to do is uh, text the word WATCH, W-A-T-C-H, to 239-747-1077. They can watch all your previous shows. They can pick topics that they want to see. Yeah. It's just a great opportunity to get information to help them in their retirement. And then you get to see our, our new studio here at, at the office, our podcast podcasts our radio room and and then of course if you've never seen us on tv we're on nbc every sunday at 11 o'clock 11 to 11 30 it's on nbc it's called saving the investor same as our radio show saving the investor but um devin my son is in charge of putting the podcast together and and really getting this information out because when we started this show john many many years ago well over 10 years ago we named it Saving the Investor, and you're a pastor, so you save souls, and and um, we try to save our, our clients' retirement. So this is, um, you know, why we really named it Saving the Investor. It was a two, two-part two name, you know? Yeah. yeah Love great. it. Love it. So thank you for listening, and there's a whole lot going on in our country right now. So if, if you haven't really tweaked your portfolio or made any changes, if you're do it yourself or Give us an opportunity to show you what we can do here at the Advanced Retirement Group to see if we can put you in a better position. If we can put you in a be better position, you're going to feel better. Your spouse will feel better. And this is the time to travel and spend some of your hard-earned money and not worry about, will I run out of money? So that's our goal here at the Advanced Retirement Group. And we're at 239 what is it, 10 2747-1077. Yep. Let me do it again. 239-747-1077. Got to make an easier number. So we give us a call, and we would love to show you what we can do here at the Advanced Retirement Group. We want to thank Jake for making this show what it is. So until next week, be blessed.